Ah, uh, tell me, please. <laughs> exactly. So it's Stephanie Frender. So Frender is uh, P is silent. So it's like Frender. Friend. Frender. And then Stylander. Stylander. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, uh, I'm happy to uh, welcome uh, Stephanie Triander Stylander. Uh, we are, uh, she's calling from New York. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Audrey, nice to speak with you. I'm really happy to, to meet you today. Uh, we, we can find your work in the virtual fair on the booth of uh, the gallery Ira Steman. Yes with a, all the with a list of good work there and we are we will talk about um, about your production about your uh, your art so my first question is uh, how are you stephanie i feel good it's been a it's been a long strange period with the quarantine of course all over the world but uh certain things come out of these periods, right? There's a creativity that is uh, stirred up and um, I feel positive and uh, look forward to when we can uh, go to restaurants and theater and such, <laughs> be free. And uh, how, this, this is uh, my next question about uh, the creativity. Do you think this uh, crisis has an impact, of course, but uh, do you think it, Simulate it, or uh, do you think, do you feel the world uh, a different way now? For me, you know, living in Manhattan for decades, um, you know, I've lived overseas, but New York really has been my home. I grew up very close to the city. Um, I started walking the streets and biking all over during the shutdown. And uh, it was so fascinating. It became such a lyrical, quiet city. And uh, this, was, this was very inviting and stimulating uh, for me. I, um, I just got inspired. Um, it felt like uh, poetic. You know, you would look at these beautiful buildings and these beautiful locations and the streets and and of course, many memories as you go through the different areas of the city that I have. And I felt like it became a, a portrait subject that I would become very excited working with. Um, so I took my Leica and I uh, started photographing and um, found, uh, I felt like I found a language in the, in the obscure um, sort of transparent reflections of the city streets and um, the intimacy that it, it felt. And, uh, you know, when I work with um, an actor or a model or a subject, a person, I look for something that is um, hidden, let's say, um, that I like to find and explore. Um, and that's how I felt through this period. So I did this large body of work and I'm still working on it, um, which is completely new. There's no people. And uh, I'm very, very excited by it. And it has opened up a whole new window, really, um, of my work. Um, yes, of course, it's, um, it, it opens new perspective and a uh, new vision. And uh, we are lucky to have uh, some pieces uh, in, this, uh, in this booth. And we can see uh, a very specific, uh, your, 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 write, your writing. Is very specific and you are very uh, focused on uh, on faces on portraits and how can we describe uh, your your style and your uh, this specific way of uh, treating uh, the the photographic portrait um you know i think that i have a very classical sensibility with my photography um it's not um it, it's very how can i say very um, direct, the, the composition is very classic, but the, um, drive for me 
is to have a direction, my personal language, that is my personal language. And that I feel is, again, there's something that I like to discover um, with a person. And I don't get that focused on uh, the beauty or the celebrity. I get more focused on the feeling that emerges through the session. And of course that's part me and that's part the subject. And then I feel something can organically develop as we work together. Um, sometimes it's silence, sometimes it's a word, sometimes it's uh, the location we're at, perhaps brings memories up for the subject and brings memories up for me. And we get into a sort of dance, I feel, um, if you're lucky, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. But when, when it does, you really marry one another for that time. And there's a relationship that's formed. And um, that is really uh, why I'm a photographer. Um, but I also see the influences of the Italian cinema, the French cinema, um, the, the beautiful films, the cinematic films of that period really struck me very early on in my career when I lived in Milan and when I lived in Paris. So that I see stays with my style. And I think what I enjoyed about those films and really learned about those films is that it was character that I fell in love with when I fell in love with that filmmaking. Um, and so there's a piece of that. There's a piece, of, as I say, of uh, this classic sort of construction. And then there's this um, poetic, uh, ambiguous mood that um, I have to get to. If I don't get there, I'm not satisfied. And, and of course, sometimes you don't get there. But when you get there, that's really full for me. That's a complete picture. Yes, it's true. I can feel um, all the... Um the cinematographic character of uh, of those scene and how you you staged it and i'm i was particularly um uh um in love with uh, the portraits of uh, of kate moss because you you are uh, so close to her close to her face that we can feel this uh, uh relationship you you have with your models right yes very much so i really many times like to, and I feel that I, I'm able to get that close uh, physically. And then of course, on the other level of emotion and, and intellect, right? I mean, you are, I am very close. And it's, it's uh, you know, photography is an aggressive art, but there's also a, a, um, a bridge that's formed um, with photography. And I feel that, if I'm allowed to get that close and I feel drawn to get that close, there can be some real magic and something uh, developing. True, and what is your, um, what, why do you, why are you so comfortable with uh, black and white? I just love black and white. I, you know, I, since I was a young girl getting into photography, I would take black and white Tri-X film, always. Um, I feel that black and white focuses on what I want to focus on. Um, I see in black and white, you know, I don't, I don't uh, see in color. I just immediately like the tone out, the tonal value, sometimes very extreme with hot whites and black blacks and sometimes quite tonal, um, depending upon, <clears throat> excuse me, depending upon how I'm shooting and what I'm shooting. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's my tool. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. <laughs> it's a, it's a fantastic work. Uh, and, uh, and we can see it in the Iraj Teman, uh, booth. Uh, so my last question is about your project right now. How is your, uh, are you working on new, new, new projects, new, new photographs? Yes, I'm always working on new photographs. Um, I have a studio downstairs in the building that I live in, so it's very convenient to work there and work on different um, ideas. Uh, sometimes it's right now, it's the streets um, of the city and I'm working on that uh, very intensely. Um, sometimes I see an interesting person and I work on portraits um, because that's really my true 
love. Um, the fashion is a bridge to make the photograph, I feel, but it's the person that I'm interested in that I really love to um, develop and uh, experience. Um, and so I've been working on that. I've been working on some nudes, which is mm, sort of new for me. I've had nudes throughout my career, but I feel like I'm beginning to focus more on, on, um, on that. And, uh, I'm looking forward to Paris photo. I hope that, uh, there, that will be, uh, an interesting, uh, fair. I hope we have the fair. Um, it's in November, so I'm thinking that it will be good. And uh, also right now, you know, I have a show at the Staley Wise Gallery in New York and it opened on March 5th and then it closed a week later. We had a smashing, <laughs> we had a smashing opening and then it was closed. So it's still up. It's with uh, Louise Del Wolf and myself and uh, it'll be up till the end of the summer. So we should be opening uh, next week. I think they'll be opening the gallery. So there's all these different projects going on. So we are lucky to have uh, many different opportunities to to see uh, your your beautiful pictures. Uh, thank you so much, Stephanie, for uh, this talk. Absolutely, it was fantastic to speak with you. I look forward to seeing this virtual edition. It'll be exciting. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Have a nice day, Stephanie. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye.